In this video, we'll be learning about a new topic named as Task View, also known as Virtual Desktops. This is the coolest features which is installed into your Windows 10 operating system. What is that exactly? Now you can make your PC behave as two different PCs or make your laptop work as two different laptops or more than two. For example, now if you are in office accessing your office emails, office accounts and so on and parallelly you want to open your Facebook or some other social networking site and you do not want to mix up both of them. So whenever you get time, you open the office applications. Whenever you get time, you open your social networking sites. Let us see that how it is possible. Now, if you see, I have opened two applications. One is the file explorer. I'll just open and show you that's the file explorer. I'll minimize that. And second thing is I have opened some website that is tutelspoint.com. That's a website. And there's bbcnews.com. That's one website again, right? So these are given here. I'll minimize both of them. Now I want to open some Facebook and Gmail account parallelly, but I don't want to mix up in the same screen. How do I do that? So see here, if you see the third option, which is given as task view, I'll just keep my cursor on that place. It says task view, or you can call it as a virtual desktop and I'll click on this task view. When I say task view, it says you have two applications open. One is the browser where you have this BBC news and tutorials point and second one you have this file explorer. So right now you have only one desktop that's the main desktop. But if you want to create a parallel virtual desktop, you can see this option new desktop. So if you click on this new desktop, what will happen is it will create a parallel desktop here that is desktop one and that is desktop two. Now if you click on this desktop two, if you see there is no application open. Okay, that there is no application open, it is completely blank. And now what you can do is, if you want to go back to desktop one, you can just click on this button here and you can just click on this desktop one. And if you see, there are two applications which are open. One is the browser and second one is the file explorer. So both of them are open. Let us go the next way. I'll go to this task view, open this desktop two and here what I'll do is, I'll open two other applications. One is Facebook and uh, let's say I'll open a calculator, both of them. So I'll just click on this browser. I'll type here as Facebook, facebook.com. And uh, second is I'll open here calculator. Okay, so two applications I've opened. One is calculator and browser. And uh, suppose this is my free time where I use this Facebook and calculator. But if I'm working very seriously, I want to open those applications. I want to study. I'll just go back to this place and I'll say I want virtual desktop one. Okay. So in this desktop one, I have this file explorer and I have this browser that's a news and tutorials point. And if I want to go back to the other place, I can just click on this button here, desktop two. So it's a very cool features. You can keep on creating multiple virtual desktops. You can see here, I'll click on this and I can click on this new desktop. So now I have one, two and three desktops which are given here. You can keep on creating and using it. Now it's as I said a very cool feature. What does it do is if I click on this close button, now I have two virtual desktops. On this virtual desktop, I have calculator and Facebook. What if I by mistake close this virtual desktop? Let us see if I click on this close virtual desktop, and I have only one desktop given here. Now I don't have any virtual desktop. So if you see, I have only one virtual desktop. That's a main desktop, which has this four applications, one, two, and three, four. The second desktop, which had two applications, calculator and Facebook are being transferred on this desktop one because I have closed that virtual desktop. So don't have to worry the applications which are already working, already running there those can be transferred to your first desktop itself. So it's a very good feature again. Okay. And any, any application, if you want to jump, you just click on that place and you'll be jumping to that particular application. I'll just come to this place. There's one more method. If you want to use virtual desktop by shortcut method, you can use this windows tab key. You, you have the key on your desktop on your uh, keyboard that is windows key and you have to press tab key and then you can open this. And then you can use this option as new desktop or else escape or else you can use this task view and similarly you will get this. 
So either of the options you can use and you can work accordingly. So I hope you're able to understand task view or virtual desktop, very, very good feature and cool feature. That's all for this video.